Hey, what's up? My name is Peter. Here are five new games coming out from February 28th to March 5th. Spiders, swords, magic, monster trucks, and a battle for Texas? Let's take a look. First up is Bravely Default 2, the long-anticipated RPG developed by Clay Tech Works for the Nintendo Switch. Of course, this game came out last week on February 26th, but I just had to include it in this week's games because I'm such a massive RPG fan. Bravely Default 2 is the third game in the Bravely series, following the original two titles, which appeared on the Nintendo Wii. But don't let that dissuade you if you never played the original two, because this game has nothing to do with the original series. All new characters, all new story, everything you need for a fun, exciting new RPG is right at your fingertips. Turn-based combat, old school graphics, an amazing soundtrack, it has all the hallmarks of the games that we loved growing up. And if I may step in for just one minute. As a huge RPG fan, this is a game I've had my eye on for quite some time. I didn't actually play the original Bravely Default or its sequel, but now that I have a Nintendo Switch and I enjoyed Octopath Traveler so much, this might be just the game I'm looking for when I'm not at home and I'm looking for that RPG fix. Now, I know it kind of just looks like it's Final Fantasy because it's got crystals and heroes of light and magic and okay, it's Final Fantasy, but it has a new name, Bravely Default. I'm still going to pick it up and I'm really looking forward to it. Let's see what's next. The Spider, mankind's most ancient and deadly nemesis. As a licensed kill it with fire exterminator, it's time to fight back. Assemble your arsenal of increasingly excessive weapons, track spiders across suburbia, and burn everything in your path. Kill It With Fire is a first-person action game about, obviously, hunting spiders. It's $14.99 on most consoles and available starting March 4th. I gotta be honest, this is a game I'm super excited about. I want to take revenge on all of the terrifying spiders that have haunted me throughout my life in a nice virtual environment. Different weapons, tons of different creepy crawlies, and a realistic fire simulation system gets me hyped to spend a couple of weekends playing this one. <laughs> Next up is Harvest Moon One World. Trek across beaches, the desert, and even a volcano in the latest entry into the long-running Harvest Moon series. The Harvest Goddess has gone missing, and it's up to you to help bring her back. Now, this game has a lot of new features. For example, new five bachelors and five bachelorettes for you to marry and wed. It also has a very unique feature called the Expando Farm, where you can pick up your entire farm in one piece and carry it to new locations. It even has things like raising animals, like cows, sheep, goats, oh, and a reindeer. Uh, <laughs> I love Stardew Valley a lot, and this is another farming game to look forward to. It's coming out March 2nd. Monday, 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 on March 1st, Monster Jam Steel Titans 2 comes out to the Nintendo Switch, Xbox Series, and PlayStation 4 and 5. You'll pay for the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge as you take charge of uh, fan favorites like Higher Education, Sparkle Smash, Backwards Bob and the Avenger with exciting new mo online action. Oh yeah! With stunning P time destruction and PS2 graphics, you'll think you're really in the arena. Is this a new game? Freestyle mode, finally what I've been looking for when I take the wheel of the big rig. I am not sure who exactly this game is made for. I'm sure there are dozens of monster truck enthusiasts. I've even been to a show. I'm from Missouri, but I am, you can, you can pick this up as soon as possible if it's your thing. It's a $30 price tag, so caveat emptor, $2 nachos. Next up, we have Neptune. What in the hell is... Oh, God. Uh, uh, ah, we can skip this one. What's this? 
This is an ancient 1993 Sega CD game called Texas Ground Zero, but why am I showing it? What's going on? Let's let them explain. South Texas, on the U.S.-Mexican border, people have begun to disappear. Individuals, families, gone without a trace. All humanity is in danger, and this small Texas town sits at ground zero. Oh, intriguing, but perhaps lacking a little je ne sais quoi. But don't worry, I think I can help you with that. Ah, much better. Ground Zero Texas Nuclear Edition. Coming out March 2nd on most major consoles. As a tactical weapons expert, you soon discover this quiet, beautiful Texas town is crawling with aliens disguised as humans. I actually had this game. My mom bought it for me for my birthday. When I really wanted Spider-Man vs. the Kingpin, she got me this one. I'm not mad about it. I've totally forgiven you. But it was actually ended up being a pretty neat present. It was a game like I'd never played before. And to be honest, I couldn't tell what was happening on the screen. I couldn't tell if the humans were the good guys or if the aliens or who we were fighting. But it remains in my memory something so strangely nostalgic that I absolutely must return to it. It's not a day one purchase, absolutely not, but I'll definitely pick this one up on sale just so I can get my revenge. No, oh, we got blasted. And who knows, maybe it's a precursor, some sort of training tool that we can use for the coming alien invasion. Boom, there you go. The top five games of the week. Which one was your favorite? For me, I think that the premiere two was either Kill It With Fire or Bravely Default 2. Which of those titles gets your vote for Game of the Week? Let me know in the comments and we'll crown a champion. And if you want more of me, more of my content, you can find me on Twitch TV slash Premier 2, where every Tuesday through Saturday, we are playing games from 9 p.m. Japan Standard Time. Come on in, have a laugh, and enjoy yourself. And if not, I will see you next week for five new games that we can all Look forward to, please God, please God, no more monster truck games. Sir.